Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, October 8th, and once again, I thank you so much for joining in to our weekly PPACA webinars. Boy, do we have a lot to talk about today. A couple changes, big changes came in last week, and certainly I want to bring you up to date on that. Um, but uh, let's just start with some of the house cleaning items. The um, FFM certification for 2016, obviously we know that that has been released. Um, there are agents that are calling in that they have issues that their MLMS button is not showing up on the left hand, top left hand side of the screen. If you're having that issue, um, let me know. But if, if you are having that issue, what you can try to do is log in to the portal.cms.gov site. And um, once you log in, right above your log in um, icon, there is an icon that says request access. So you would have to request that access, the FFM certification for agents and brokers, and then add a role, which is an FFM agent um, for 2016. So I know that's a bit confusing, but if you just if you have issues, certainly give me a call. I can help you and walk you through that. But um, it should be clear when you log in. Um, to start with that request access now icon. Um, next week we will have our weekly webinar at 9.30 and then immediately following Jody Clymans from Cat Blue Cross is going to be uh, running a webinar for us exclusive to our URL agent partners and that's at 10 a.m. That's going to be a sneak peek at the 2016 products as well as the portal for the enrollment uh, on and off exchange for capital. It's a new site this year, new process for enrolling um, on and off exchange, and they will have the redirect to healthcare.gov this year. So if you can, uh, join us at 10 o'clock next Thursday. If you can't, please at least register, because then you'll, you'll at the very least get the recorded version of the webinar to listen to. Um, you know, I, I don't have any plans or rates or anything for 2016 yet, but I do have messages obviously into every carrier. We're hoping to get some rates hopefully by the 15th, but I don't know that to be true. Um, a lot of the plans are still tied up in the Pennsylvania Insurance Department. So at this point, we're still you know, operating on what ifs for 2016, but hopefully by next week we'll at least have a few more carriers uh, or a few carriers uh, release their rates and plans so we can start some planning. We still only have for the FFM certificates the three emails for Capital Blue Cross and the second one, broker.submission at highmark.com, that is for NEPA. And then the Geisinger GHP broker licensing, that is the Geisinger email to upload, or I'm sorry, email your certificates. Aetna and Coventry One, you do via producer portal at Aetna.com. And I did put information on how to get into the system um, in my newsletter last week. But another thing to mention, and I'll go to, let me see the next screen here if I can get to it. Um, yeah, this is not going to work. Um, let me go back. If you go to Producer World and log in from uh, the Aetna.com site, and on the left-hand navigation bar, you're going to see Manage Profile and User Access, and then you'll go into Personal Firm Profile. You're going to see where, to the right-hand side of your screen, you're going to see an Update button. So you're going to want to make sure, first of all, that your information is accurate, your NPN number is entered. Uh, the next to the last icon is where you um, make note of your completion day for 2016 FFM certification. And the icon right below that is where you're able to choose your hierarchy for Coventry One, formerly Health America One, and also Aetna. Um, you can just click on that icon and you can search for URL either by name or by Kenneth Clemens, our CEO's name. And what they're asking that if you want business to be redirected through a GA, hopefully URL, 
uh, but any GA, you need to choose that hierarchy by the end of this month or you will have to do business direct. Um, so hopefully you'll, you'll take some time and do that and choose URL as your GA. Uh, Tish Weitzel, our Director of Licensing, is going to be getting additional information out and instructions. So that should be coming out um, hopefully today or tomorrow. So the next to the last bullet, I think we all can uh, understand my frame of mind when I was typing this. Hi Mark, hi Mark, heavy sigh. <laughs> I think we've all had a lot of heavy sighs in the last week since the news came out. But I just wanted to kind of go over um, some details. First of all, in Central and Western PA, um, commission is going down for first year to $10 growth per member per month. So, of course, that's going to be split 80-20. Uh, you'll get $8 per member per month. Now, what that means as far as what we can absorb um, in processing applications and what, you know, what it actually even means for their rates and their um, competitiveness, we don't know yet, but uh, we will have more details once everything has been released on what we can and can't do. But just please note that year one is eight bucks, and then it goes down uh, from there. And again, that's central and western. For, for northeastern PA, unfortunately, they made the tough decision of offering zero commission. And that is zero commission for not only renewals um, that auto renew or auto map to a 2016 plan, but any new business written. So please be mindful of that. We're really hoping that uh, Geisinger and Coventry One come through with some competitive offerings this year so that you have an option for your consumers. Um, otherwise, unfortunately, it's going to be even worse than just a flat year with the NEPA production. Uh, for you and your NEPA client base. So um, again, we'll, we'll get you information as we have it, but let's all cross our fingers that Geisinger and Coventry is going to be competitive for all of us, that we can actually take those consumers and put them into a plan that, that's comparable and hopefully one that also saves them money. So those are the high mark changes. Um, and that's pretty much it for this week. Um, I know we had a lot to discuss, and you probably have a lot of questions. But um, you know, right now, if we'll we give you a few minutes, if you want to type in your questions, we'll we'll open it up and hopefully be able to answer those. And just a reminder: next next uh, Thursday at 9:30, we'll have our weekly webinar, and then again immediately following that at 10 a.m. Uh, through a different login, we'll have our Capital Blue Cross 2016 product preview. So I'm frightened about the questions. <laughs> frightened about the questions this week. So Sharon says, did you say that Highmark email is for Highmark and NEPA? That's correct, Sharon. The Highmark in, in um, the newsletter, in fact, I included it in this week's newsletter as well under breaking news you'll see the information that was released from Highmark. And Highmark Central and Western are going to $8 per member per month for the um, Central and Western area, but the Northeastern PA area is zero commission. Dave asks, if a Highmark customer changes plans, does that count as the first year? It does not, Dave. That would be uh, considered <coughs> renewal. Margie says, Aetna Producer World under GA hierarchy, I cannot input URL. Am I missing something? Margie, I don't think so, but what I can do is give you a call and see if I can walk you through that. And, oh, she also asks what was the last name that she should put in, and that's Clemens for Kenneth Clemens, C-L-E-M-E-N-S. That's our president and CEO, so you can... Again, search by URL Inc. or just URL and or Kenneth Clemens. Bill says, how many different ways are you able to certify for FFM and is there any preferred method? There are four different ways, Bill, and um, I don't have my information right at my fingertips, but there is the free version through the Marketplace Learning, the newly revised Marketplace Learning Network. And then there is one through Gorman that is 
$29 plus an additional five, I believe, something like that, 32 and five, something like that, uh, nominal. I think it's less than 35 bucks. And that's through Gorman. You can do the FFM certification and you also get some CE credits as well. AHIP is offering one for individual plus CE credits for 125 If you also want the shop, it's 150 And again, they offer CE credits. I just don't know how many. And last but not least, the NAHU option is $117.78 for some reason for non-NAHU members. And you can earn up to 21 CE credits. So those are the four ways that you can do your FFM certification, and they all begin at portal.cms.gov. So again, if you have issues uh, with that, you can give your uh, new business representative, Katrina or Judy Reed, a call. Judy is out this week, so um, you can hit up Katrina at extension 159, and she can help you with that. Kim says, sorry you have to repeat this. What area did you say is zero commission? It is the NEPA area, the 13 counties of northeastern PA, formerly through BC NEPA. It is now owned by Highmark, um, and it is going by Highmark Northeast. So um, just those 13 counties. Dina asks, if Geisinger announced Con for 2016, they did not, Dina. Um, I talked to them actually this week, and um, I have my thoughts on that, that it may remain the same, but I don't know that to be true. Nothing is released. And Erica says, is NEPA paying commissions on group? Erica, that's a great question, and I appreciate you asking that, because I would have gone without saying that. Yes, they are still paying commissions on group. And you know, as far as Highmark as well, the commission information that I shared with you is specific to the under 65 individual market. It has no bearing on any Medicare, Medicare Advantage, or group products. Now, Erica, just to kind of continue with the commission question on NEPA group, um, they will pay commission, but I don't know if it's going to follow Highmark's model at 24 PEPM or NEPA's old model at 32 PEPM. Um, but of course, I will let you know as soon as I have any information. Dave asks what Geisinger Commission is now, and it's a gross 6% um, of which you get 4.5% of the premium the first year. And Bill says, how can a carrier not pay commission legally? Uh, every carrier has that right, Bill. I'm sure they're, they're within their legal rights maybe just not very pleasant for anybody. Um, it is going to be a real struggle. That's going to be something that we're, I mean, we're trying to address it and come up with a strategy uh, for the Northeastern Territory, but, you know, they're certainly within their legal rights, I'm sure. And that appears to be it. Uh, oh, nope, I have more questions coming in. Um, Bill asks what Cap Blue Cross Commission is for the individual, and I don't believe this is changing. In fact, I'm 99% sure that it's not, but that will be addressed on Thursday of next week. It is $21 per member per month, and it's capped at five per application. So you can see if there is a heavy transition from Highmark Central to Capital Blue Cross, you're essentially going from $8 or $12 to $21. So uh, that's definitely better than going the other route. So, you know, again, let's all cross our fingers and throw pennies in ponds or where, <laughs> wishing wells, whatever you want to do. Let's just hope that capital is going to be coming in competitive. And I know that that is their desire to do so. I just don't know, again, where the rates are going to end up. And another question, Janet asks, is there a law that says we cannot charge the client directly if they buy a high mark that pays no commission? Janet, I went through this with the Pennsylvania Insurance Department, and they vetted that question through their legal team and their legal counsel, and the answer to that is no. You cannot collect a consulting fee or an application fee or anything like that for performing the duty of taking that application and enrolling, and enrolling it. Um, 
they feel that that is part of the agent's uh, responsibility. And when Highmark first dropped commissions or, or canceled commissions back for August 1st effective dates through the end of this year, we checked into that and I feel confident that the Pennsylvania Insurance Department has given me accurate information and what they say is no, um, unfortunately. So that, I believe, ends the questions. Um, just again, join in on Thursday the 15th at 9.30 for our, our webinar, and then hopefully you can also join for the Cat Blue Cross. Please keep your questions coming. This is a crazy time of year for all of us. I'm certainly happy to help, and as soon as I get any information, we're going to be updating our site, and we'll certainly be sending all of that information out. We want you to have the information as much as we want to have the information. So um, that's my promise to you that we'll get it out uh, as soon as we can and as soon as we receive it. So until then, I wish you all a very happy Thursday and uh, hopefully you can get out and enjoy the sun and this last bit of nice weather before we buckle down for winter and uh, have a great weekend. Thanks again. Bye-bye.